Uh, welcome everyone. Let's will start our first lesson on enterprise and entrepreneurship. So it is first lesson. My name is Anjum Sathar. I'm teaching uh, uh, OTHM level seven extended diploma in management. Uh, I'm working with the university last four years. Um, and it's such a wonderful place to work. And uh, please, if you have any question, just drop me email if you're listening this uh, my recording. Uh, today lesson will be on enterprise and entrepreneurship. So first of all, let's will uh, go through the course content. What we're supposed to cover under this unit, unit seven. Um, Enterprise and entrepreneurship, OTHM level seven diploma in strategic management and leadership. So the role of enterprise and entrepreneurship in management perspective will will try to be and will use various examples. So the aim of this unit is the basic uh, business processes. We need to learn about the strategies enterprise entrepreneurial to develop the knowledge in enterprise entrepreneurial in a group global global contact so because we are living in a global village we have a lot of global forces impact you know our businesses so which will go through we have a <clears throat> different learning outcome so learning outcome one which will go through today <clears throat> critically analyze the um, concept and the process of entrepreneurship which will go through today under this uh, allo one we have a three assessment criteria 1.1 1.23 so which we need to critically analyze the nature and the characteristic and the challenges is different kind of enterprise what are the problem what are the challenges what are the difficulty what are the hurdles we have those we need to be addressed you know to be become a successful uh, as an organization to launch our businesses enterprise so evaluate on entrepreneurial skills so what sort of the skills we require to be a successful entrepreneurial in business person in this corporate and very competitive world so which will go through evaluate what makes successful commercial or the social enterprise what sort of the qualities are characteristic or what sort of the knowledge and abilities required organizations to be uh, individual those working in those organization to make organization successful so we go through all this in our discussion today so uh, next uh, we're looking evaluate innovative entrepreneurial management processes for a project organization so which will go through the second learning outcome in second lesson third our learning outcome critically uh, uh, assess proposals critically assess the proposal what sort of the proposal we have new ideas new concept you want new project you want to start so we have a various proposal so how we can critically access you know this will be successful or not dwell from the new ideas how we can look around how we can provide the value of the product and various other techniques and various other concepts which will use under this unit be able to develop a business plan so how we can develop a successful business plan so either you start a new business when you're going for a loan um, in our organization so we need to be a lot of managers will bank managers are the financial institution they will ask you give us your business plan what you will do how we will do how, what cash flows will be so all sort of this discussion will be in our uh, these lessons as well so these are the inductive content what we're supposed to be learned so you will see there the keywords the buzzwords are the key concept which we need to be learned so we'll try to be uh, our best you know to learn most of the concept that we'll do the generic discussion because some con concept is maybe in the learning outcome one as well in learning outcome two and three as well so it's carry on our lab so we'll carry on learning these and I'll carry on referring you so please then we'll do these so just go through inductive contents when you prepare your assignment so please and these are the recommended books which we're supposed to use so please you know during our lessons we'll use these books and some extra resources as well so please uh, you go through these all books I'll try to be upload some ebooks for you and some already on the Moodle as well so if you have any question drop me email let's will start our lesson today 
Welcome everyone. My name is Anjum and I'm going to deliver the first session on enterprise and entrepreneurship. So let's see, you know, the first learning outcome critically analyze the concept and the processes of entrepreneurship. Okay. So what do you know about enterprise and entrepreneurship? What is the difference between enterprise and entrepreneurship? So which we'll discuss. So enterprise, the business entrepreneurial the person that the businessman who start the business so which will further go through let's a big background why is the introduction to entrepreneurship there is a tremendous interest in the entrepreneurship in the business in the u.s in the united states around the world as well according to 2013 study 12.7 percent american are actively engaged in the starting the business or the owner or the managers of the business and even the youngster want as well to start a business so indication of the increased interest in the entrepreneurship think about the amazon books amazon the website yes listed our 36900 books just on entrepreneurialships and focus on the small businesses College courses in 1985, there were about 250 entrepreneurship courses offered across the colleges in the states. Today, more than 2,000 colleges and universities in just in states in America is offering these sort of qualification. One of this qualification, one of this unit which you are doing as well. So, what is an entrepreneurship? Entrepreneurship is a process by which individuals pursue opportunity with without regards to resource that currently control. So venture capitalists uh, is given the entrepreneurship is the art of turning an idea into business. So entrepreneurship is mean you have an idea you turn into the business explanation what entrepreneurial do entrepreneurial assemble and then integrate all the resources needed the money the people the business models and the strategy to transform an invention or the ideas into viable business think about few years back there was no apple there was a lot of you know so the business steve jobs is convert the ideas into the smartphone so we know very well now so think about all any business we start we need three m's whatever business we start these are the major three m's we require so what we require we need manpower we need human being we need money and we need some material material is come all other resources so always things you know you need three m's where we get these we need to be as an entrepreneurial you're looking you're making maybe various joint ventures partnership to make your idea put idea into practice put idea into actual action plan so corporate entrepreneurialship is the conceptualization of entrepreneurial at the firm level so you can at the firm level all firms fall along a conceptual that range from the highly conservative to the highly entrepreneurial the position of the firm this to refer it as an entrepreneurial intensity because think about the corporate what is the definition of corporate so corporate is an artificial person enterprise organization definition is artificial person so we need to treat other person equally we need to look around them so that's why the more concept on the social enterprise which will go through for this slide so entrepreneurial firms proactive need to be proactive need to be innovative need to be risk taking sometimes we have to take the risk you know when in the business higher the risk higher the return conservative firm take a more time and wait and see and posture so less innovative they're not really putting think about maybe that's why the nokia is behind nokia used to be we don't have any more very few people using the nokia so less innovative risk 
uh, averse so we they're not really taking risk they try to be minimize risk they're not entering into the territory with the high risk but in the business world some people some entrepreneur is happy to take the risk why become an entrepreneurial there are the primary reason why you become your own boss becoming entrepreneurial start their own firm desire to be their own boss desire to pursue their own idea and the financial reward we will get end of the day <clears throat> so that's why so uk university is as an enterprise yep it's more social helping people to achieve what they want to be achieve in their lives so characteristic of successful entrepreneurial ship or entrepreneur so four primary characteristics passion for the business you really keen to be a business person and stay despite the failure whatever even your failure you require looking to be a become a successful execution intelligent so you want to be whatever your knowledge ability you have you want to be execute you want to be put in action so product and the customer focus so successful business person they need to be focused on the customer end of the day customer is the king if you don't focus on the customer if you don't fulfill their desires and uh, their objective are would not provide the value added product we will be out of the business so successful entrepreneurial so characteristic of successful passion for the business number of shared successes entrepreneurial is a passion for the business we need to look around the product focus the second definition of practicing a successful entrepreneurial is the product and the customer focus and entrepreneurial keen to focus on the product and the typically stem with the facts and the most entrepreneurial the hard crafts people so we need to look around what really people want despite failures because of the entrepreneurial are typically trying something new the failure rate naturally is a high defining the characteristic successful entrepreneurial their ability to preserve through the setbacks setbacks and failure setbacks and failure provide you opportunity for the future so we need to be look around we don't need to be disheartened so successful business persons are entrepreneurial carry on doing so execution and intelligence the ability to fashion a solid business idea into viable business the key characteristic of successful entrepreneurship in those are the business person anybody any question so please any question carry on uh, just on the chat box just uh, carry on writing please so which will discuss okay <clears throat> what are the key qualities are the characteristic to be successful some people say are born not made so entrepreneurial are born by birth they are business person so this is based on the mistaken belief that the some people are genetically predisposed to be a uh, entrepreneurial the consensus of many studies is that no one is born to be a entrepreneurial everyone has a, has the potential to become one whether someone does or doesn't become a entrepreneurial is a function of their environment life experience and the personal choices so personal choices what you really want second we need to be look around what although no one is born to be a entrepreneurial there are the common trade the characteristic successful entrepreneurial successful business person moderate risk taker persuasive promoter resource assembler creative self starter tolerant visionary they have a vision behind optimistic a network people they are making network they always listen they make they keep the relationship guys is a huge you know benefit networking so try to be engaged with the local uh, business skill council local uh, entrepreneurial like in the uk business link so that will help you to be develop your idea to be successful entrepreneurial successful business person so achievement motivated alter opportunity self confidence decisive in, in energetics yes that's a very important a strong a uh, work ethics so strong work ethic yes when you promise something you're supposed to be deliver on you when you you 
is try to be exceed you know the length attention span so you need to be put the attentions on so next characteristic entrepreneurial or gambler is it is it entrepreneurial or gambler is a business person or gambler most of the entrepreneurs are moderate risk taker yes so they take the risk of course business itself a risk it can be profit it can be loss so business when you want or there are different form of the business we can start form of business are types of ownership so we say types of ownership so you can start as a sole trader so you can start as partnership and you can start your business as a company or charity business it's we can't charity business is a charity is non profit organization so you need to look around each have own advantages and disadvantages so nothing is so entrepreneurial are the gambler the most enterprise are the moderate risk taker the idea of the entrepreneur or the gambler is originate from two sources entrepreneurial are the business person typically have a job that are the less structured so they are face more uncertain set of possibilities than the people in traditional jobs many entrepreneurial have a strong need to achieve and set the challenging goal behavior that is often equipped with the risk taking so we need to look now <clears throat> third we looking what are the entrepreneurial are motivated primarily by money what do you think what your thought you motivated as a person you want to be earn more and more money money is a key so while it is naive to think about the entrepreneurial you don't see the financial reward money is the real the reason the entrepreneurial start a new firm in fact some in earlier won that the pursuit of money can be distracting so your of course money is behind you know and of your goal but not the money maybe you can set your objective to serve by serving at the ultimately the money will carry on so your key objective can be so entrepreneurial should be young and interjecting uh guys it's no hard and fast route but the young people maybe have more uh in term of looking the new ideas are the old maybe traditionally reliable because many they used to do the things in the same way but this is not hard and fast rule some people always looking the new thing and trial and test it so entrepreneurial activity is fairly easy spread over the age range so while it is important in a jactic investor side so we need to look around these are next inter- can be so if we look Um, a common distribution age percentage of the business owner so 18 to 29 percent 17.5 percent business owner 30 to 39 year age 25 percent 40 to 49 24 so 50 to 59 is 21 as the age increase you will see the ownership of the business is drop so we can say more young people is in the business so let's see you know next common enterprise love the spotlight while some entrepreneurial all the fem the vast majority of them don't attract the public attention and evidence of this consider the equation how many entrepreneurial could you name so come up with the jeff or the amazon uh, owner mac of course you know uh, facebook founder zuckerberg so we can look around the steve jobs and the various but few could name the founder twitter youtube netflix yes so we need to look around so that can be three startup firms salary substitute firm you can start the firm that is a basically provide their owner or uh, the owner similar level of income to what they would be able to earn in the conventional job when you use to work for the other people the firm that provide their owner or owners opportunity to pursue a particular lifestyle or make the living at it so lifestyle you can be changed by 
So that can be your objective entrepreneurship firm that bring the new product and the services to the market by creating and seizing opportunities regardless of the resources that currently control. So we need to look around on different chaining demography. So always, you know, the people used to be, it's not males is dominant now, women entrepreneurial. While the men are the most likely to be start than the women, the number of women business is increasing. There are 8.6% women on in the state. So we can explain what is meant by entrepreneurial sheep and some facts and figure in our assignment. We can embed, you know, some analysis, some evaluations we can. Minority, uh, there are the lot of different ethnic groups, different minority group is engaging in the business. Think about in the UK, 1.5 million Asian American on the firm and 2.3 million Spanish um, on the firm, the Spanish, you know, on the firms in the states. So, training demographics, senior entrepreneurial, 50 year old or older carry on as well as people are moving, setting up own businesses. Young entrepreneurial, four in 10 kids, grade five to 12, say they plan to start their own business. 59% student in grade 5 to 12 says in school they want to classic how to start on business. So economics impact on the entrepreneurial firm innovation. So when the more and more business compete with the innovation in the process of creating something new. Think about in state in America always things carry on coming more creative in a way. <clears throat> Giving in the world, you know, like uh, technology products, satellites are various other, which is the central to the entrepreneurial shift. Small innovative firm, 60 times more productive, less uh, than the larger innovative firm in terms of the patent for employees. Job creation, small businesses create substantial number of net new jobs. In states, the so firms with the 500 are the fewer employees create 65% of new jobs annually basis, which is a huge number. So think about 65%. So when you want to be start an entrepreneurial ship or the process you want to start, decide to become an entrepreneurial, you decide. You want to be your own boss, develop, developing successful business ideas, moving from ideas to an entrepreneurial firms and managing and growing the entrepreneurial firm. So these are the steps we need to be follow to be become. So enterprise focus on the developing skills. So either in any profession we are or we are own boss. When we are own boss, so we need lot of skills, lot of expertise, lot of knowledge. So developing skills and attitudes and knowledge in the major three areas, enterprise, capability, skill, innovation, creative, creativity, risk management. Risk management is quite crucial. You should know what are the opportunities. So guys, information is a life blood. Information is a life blood for creativity and the risk management. So innovation. Uh, if you have a right information at the right time at the right place and up to date information, so we're living in such an informative world. So always try to pick the new ideas, risk taking, and can do the attitude and drive to the uh, make things happen. Financial literacy. Financial literacy. Okay. Uh, as a UK university, we are offering uh, various other like in within your level seven OTHM in management. We are offering uh, and uh, one of our unit which is just based on the finance because financial either you're a business you're working or in your personal life the knowledge of the finance how the finance work. So um, learning about the financial management, financial management like you need to be quite good knowledge about investment appraisal investment appraisal so you need where you invest how much you invest how much return 
how long will it take you to get the return? You need to appraise it, the pound you have. So according to the one great scholar, um, one of the great economists, uh, Neil Robin, he wrote in his book, uh, we have unlimited wants and we have limited resources. So we need to make best option, best alternative to you, the, the limited resources to maximize our return. So to maximize our return, so we need a good knowledge about the financial literacy, is ability to manage one own finances and become questioning and inform a consumer of the financial services. Business and the economics understanding the ability to understand the business context. So we need to be good knowledge, good ability. We can understand. So if we don't have, we will struggle. We can't really compete because this is such a competitive world we are in. There is a quite huge competition. Okay, let's we'll move to next. Entrepreneurialship. Various authors give various definitions. So you can use different sort of economics and business people differ in the definition of entrepreneurship. Most, however, agree that the entrepreneurship is vital for stimulating economics growth and the employment opportunity in all society. In all societies, opportunities. So entrepreneurial will create the opportunity for the business in. So this is the particularly true in the developing world where the successful small business businesses are primarily engine, engines of job creation and the poverty reduction. Like earlier, I quoted the examples, you know, um, like entrepreneurialship provide the jobs. So is a huge, you know, so the government, all the government encouraging those, especially um, they provide free loans, they provide the uh, tax rebates, they provide, you know, because these are the small businesses, small, medium enterprise, are uh, the various, you know, the, it's a well contributor in the national economy. So, anybody, any question? Okay. Like earlier, I mentioned few skills, those are required to be successful. Further, some good skills required to be successful um, business person uh, as a business. Uh, so, entrepreneurial are the good organizers. So guys, if we not an organizer, think about setup time. In any business, setup time is a huge. Think about if we are manufacturing, setup time. So if the boss is coming late, yes. So every worker, if we lose 10, 15 minutes a day, yes. So think about 10, 15 minutes cost. Think about in a weekly basis, think about in a yearly basis. That's ha so entrepreneurial, the good organizer. So is a good organizer, save the time. So entrepreneurial are good workers. So they are good workers. So if you're thinking you sit in your office and your someone else work for you, no. You have to set your examples. Good worker, you work with the employees, you set the example, you're a good worker as well. So, so you may be a couple of you watch the program Undercover Boss. Undercover Boss, if you didn't, so it's quite good to watch. Quite good to watch because you have to be understand the ground reality. Undercover Boss is a, if you type on YouTube, Undercover Boss, various companies, big multinational companies, CEOs. Uh, managing both people, they undercoverly went to the small till to learn about the processes as a worker so they can plan the things and they organize the activity. So, entrepreneurial are good decision making. Decision making, what is meant by decision making? Decision making in the success and the failure is the decision makers play the key role. Think about Nokia. What's happened with Nokia? So Nokia, one of the CEO, cut the research and development cost to save the cost. So think about when you're cutting research and development and you're a technology company, you 
making new phones you're developing so due to the cutting on so they not manage to develop or create our innovative ideas so ultimately the nokia not launch up to that level of new uh, uh, new smartphone quickly compared to the apple then Samsung or various other organizations. So Nokia stayed behind. We were leading in the mobile industry, but not anymore now. So we need to think about is all about the decision making. So you need to be make the decision best, you know, in the various alternatives. So cost can be cut by making uh, various other not on the research and development. And then the CEO of the Nokia left the company and say, sorry, it was the wrong decision. So entrepreneurial can be trusted. So you can trust on the entrepreneurial. When they want to say something, they should fulfill that promise. Entrepreneurial can stick with it. So when they plan something, carry on diversifying it. So you, yeah, of course you need to learn. You need to look around the environment. You can change it, but normally you try to be stick. So you try to be implemented. Entrepreneurial are good in health. Good health, so exercise, keeping up to date, you know, uh, with, uh, up to date in knowledge, up to date in health as well. I mean, doing so you've seen a lot of entrepreneurial, they are focused on the health side as well. So entrepreneurial are good communicator, good communicator. Communication is, is quite crucial to other people can understand what you supposed to say. So as a business person is quite crucial, you be a good inter communicator so these are all the characteristics you need what makes an entrepreneur creativity is the spark in the drive development of the new product and the services way to do business dedication in motivate that the entrepreneurial to do hard work 12 hours a day or more even a seven days a week yes so that's make determination is extremely strong desire to achieve the success Determination is very important. Flexibility is the ability to move quickly in the response to the changing market needs. Leadership is the ability to create rules and set the goals. So you need a good leadership quality as well. Leader can influence, managers can manage. So there is a difference between managers. Managers create an environment to achieve the organization objective is leads the organization so passion is what the set entrepreneurial start and keep them there self-confidence so from through the planning which reduce unsanitarity the level of risk so as an entrepreneurial is need to be so different there are the different examples of different types of our entrepreneurial Classical entrepreneurial self, Richard Branson, which is quite example. Classical entrepreneurial and the entrepreneurial who as sole wish to develop, grow, and sustain their business. Develop, grow, and sustain their business. They have a vision to grow the business so that generate high profit, high sales, high value, and resulting possibility of selling about the becoming a millionaire. Richard Bronson, a firm British entrepreneur, is the best known, a widely successful virgin brand, a banner that encompasses a variety of the business organization. The name Virgin was the chosen because the female friend setting it up with him commented, we are all virgin at business. So that's why they started the word Virgin Media, Virgin in uh, these, you know, where the ideas came from. So types of the entrepreneurial, lifestyle entrepreneurial, Gillen McFarlane, the lifestyle entrepreneurial is someone who run the business for the quality of life. This means the business may not be necessary grow. Gillen business idea grew out her passions for running. She started her first up running shop in a 1989 selling running clothes shoes and accessories and achieve successful with the simple formula be better than your own your opposition 
since through the hard work dedication and she has along with her husband so developed a business up running so these shops throughout the country and have extended into internet sales those thinking to start their own business they say you will get out of the business just what you are prepared to put into it so be careful guys it's quite good next idea is a craft craftman entrepreneurial gems dyson the main objective of the craft a craftman entrepreneurial ensure a living for themselves so a british inventor is he best known as an inventor of the dual blown bagless vacuum cleaner which worked on the principle of separation so dyson studied the furniture design and interior design at the royal college of art and before moving into engineering so that's you look around the way the ideas as a craft person as a designer so social enterprise that's a huge huge area now of discussion the day social entrepreneurial is attempting to put something back into the community to interact with the community and to develop the community so mark stein opened a first store in 1994 the wasn't his first enterprise his first company was also very successful creating some most popular body shop which is quite range at one time he was their the largest supplier no as hundred of shops is popular both in the uk and internationally and the mark ambition to be thousand shops open globally which is is quite all figures managed to success so this success has achieved without com compromising the ethical ideas none of ingredients use the product being sourced from the company that has been tested on the animals so natural ingredients limiting the packaging and organic and the fair trade products which is ultimately lead you know so these are the in social enterprise so best in as a society uh, fair trade so social enterprise lot of you know company they have investing lot of in money they are moving towards social enterprise like you know setting the school for the local people hand pump scheme wash hand and various other unilever procter and gamble and various they have a corporate social responsibility so those are quite concept you know as a business person we need to be corporate social responsibility corporate governance how so we can go on organization so these are the popular let's we'll move so today we learn about different types of skills it is required to be enterprise the business entrepreneurial the business man so the person who start the business so today we discuss about some challenging some skills what is meant by social enterprise so we discuss about the established different kinds of enterprise business skills attributes what required and quality stakeholders anybody knows what is meant by stakeholders stakeholder mean anybody who has any interest in a business so as an entrepreneur you should be aware of your stakeholders what they need what their wishes what they desire we discuss about creativity we discuss about management process project and the commercial and social enterprise so all we discuss today that was part of your learning outcome one so which will go through more in the next lesson in which maybe few things will carry on our lap because of course you know some learning outcome even the previous learning outcome as well like evaluate method of encouraging creativity and innovation which will go through some innovation and creativity model how we can be innovative creative and they will go through some change why we need to be changed and the change management as well during our next lesson 2.1 2.2 and 2.3 so please all this uh, so let's you know so today we managed to uh, learn about our lo1 and we managed to finish so please if you have any question so just drop me email 
and my email address is here and as you know please please just listen this recording and start your uh, just look your assignment brief on Moodle which we will go through during next lesson and if you have any question feel free just drop me email so we'll do our lesson next Saturday half past 11 till half past 12 so please try to attend if you can't attend due to the different timings and your you're not available you have various other your commitments so please listen and complete your task you know which we're supposed to okay have a nice time and goodbye thank you for listening and participating bye bye